Hey all, Ryan the Tone Geek here, and today we're going to be comparing the $35 found on Amazon uh, Proster digital multimeter against this Fluke 179 True RMS multimeter, which costs $350. Uh, I'm borrowing this from a friend, uh, I'm not sponsored by it either, and this is going to be an unbiased opinion on how practical these multimeters are for building pedals, building amplifiers. So I'm going to be testing diode drop, voltage drop. I'm going to be testing capacitance. I'm going to be testing resistance. <laughs> I'm going to be testing high voltage and low voltage, as well as uh, millivolts or milliamps. Sorry, so amperage, but in the milliamps range. I don't have any high current things around here for me to test, but for biasing a tube amp, you're going to be in the milliamps range anyway. So again, this is a practical test. This is not a true review of one versus the other. Both features are exactly the same and or pretty close to the same auto ranging and all the rest. So I'm going to just see how these two compare. Uh, basically, I've been using this to build all of my amps and there was a little bit of doubt when I was biasing and getting the milliamps rating if I was even close using this. So I borrowed this from a friend and, and that's I'm um, comparing. So let's check out some of the comparisons now. All right, so we have a few capacitor types, and we have a Mylar um, box film capacitor. We have a general ceramic capacitor, and then a silver mica. So let's see how close they are. First, we'll test the fluke. This box film capacitor is supposed to be um, 0.1 microfarad, so we'll see how close we are between the two, I guess. All right, so 97. Whoops, I should just leave that on. And here we are measuring 96.2. So it, it appears like the resolution is a little higher on the Proster um, and measuring slightly lower than the Fluke. All right, so now we'll do the Proster first. Uh, it's not reading picofarads. Interesting. All right, let's try the Fluke, see if it registers. Nope, not there either. Interesting. All right, so it's not gonna measure. Oh, did I get a reading? No. All right, so picofarads is a bust. I'll be interested in if it reads this. Nope. All right, now onto the Proster. No, so lesson here is that the capacitance readings on both of these meters is really suited for near the microfarads range. All right, so now let's test two different capac uh, resistors. This is 1.5K and this is gonna be 3.3 mega ohm. So I'm gonna set this over back to ohms. Set this one to ohms and we'll start measuring. So first we'll do the fluke with 1.5K. All right, that's within tolerance. And it's a 1.479K. Wow, 1.479K. All right, so <laughs> This is pretty accurate for resistance measuring compared to a uh, calibrated fluke. All right, now let's test a higher value, like 3.3 .3 mega ohms. All right, so 3.22 
Mega Ohms. Wow, almost dead on. So I would say that they're they're definitely close for for measuring resistance, for sure. All right, now let's switch over and try three different types of diodes. See how close they are. So here we are. Go over there. We'll set this one up to go do diode tests. So first we're gonna test a red LED. The longer leg is positive, shorter leg is negative. And this LED is used a lot for um, clipping diodes. So right now we're reading 1.772 on this one. And we'll go over to the fluke. One point eight two. So there's a it, for diodes. I think that's a pretty big difference. All right. So let's test the next diode. This is a one S thirty four, kind of the one N thirty four A equivalent. All right. So point three seven. Point three six six, point three. So those are about the same, interestingly. Both of these dials of one S thirty four, and this is a Russian D nine E, and I can never remember what or the orientation is for this. Um, oh, it must be the other way. Both of these are used for clones, clon clone builds. So point two three nine five. Point two nine six. So that's that's kind of a difference there. But anyway, I'll leave it up to you which one you trust more. All right, now we're gonna measure millivolts, and we're gonna measure millivolts DC. So let's see, that one's on DC. And we have millivolts DC. And I'm going to use my Hot Rod Deluxe to test. So I'm going to do one ground. And here's a bias test point. Point 0.61 millivolts. Point six two millivolts. Now that might be just a little bit of a swing with this thing powering up, but I would say they're pretty close. All right, now let's test some high voltage. So the Proster is measuring 439.5 volts. DC. And the fluke is going to measure 439.9. So they are really, really close. All right, now we're gonna measure millivolts, or sorry, milliamps. Um, I have a tube, uh, Euro tubes bias tester going in and connecting 
to the milliamps terminal here and I'm measuring DC milliamps and we're getting about 28.75 it's bouncing around a little bit it's actually rising as the tube warms up so I'm gonna let this thing sit for a bit and then we'll measure and compare All right, so the Fluke is measuring 27.5, which is a little bit more than a millivolt difference between the two. Um, is it enough to matter? Probably not. All right, so to my surprise and maybe yours, these match pretty pretty well. They, they really were close in a lot of their measurements. I would say the biggest difference in measurements was when I did the uh, diode voltage drop test the fluke i feel a little bit better about the fluke measurements because they match basically the websites that i bought those um diodes from and the proster measured a little bit higher in some cases a little bit lower which is interesting and i think that's because there's a tighter resolution on this meter um both of the these also have fresh batteries so that's hopefully out of the equation the same type of battery and all the rest but overall, I, I think they're really close. In my opinion, I'm going to stick with the Proster. I'm not going to go out and spend $350 on a Fluke multimeter. I appreciate my friend let me borrow this and get in the test. But I will say what was the biggest surprise is I went out and bought new um, probe cables. And I think that that made my measurements a lot more reliable in either with either multimeter. So during the test, I was like, you know what? I should really get those alligator clips for the resistors and things like that. And then I really like this probe, um, these probe leads because they screw in versus the slide in, you know, quick disconnect, quick connect. I feel like that's a little bit better of a connection. Um, gold tips, really solid stuff. But I feel like my measurements across the board were more stable using this upgraded cable or this aftermarket cable. So I'm gonna put that where um, this product link in the link to below from Amazon. Uh, truthfully, I think this is a great combination. The Proster, $35, and the this bias probe meters, or not bias probe, but these you know probes. So there's my video. Um, I'm gonna get some sleep and stick around for some more fun electronics, amp building, tone building, and just overall geekery. See ya.